Pero no, peguen. Got him. Peguen. Peguen. What is going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're at beautiful Canyon Lake and we're keeping it very, very simple today. We got a Senko tied on. We got three drop shots tied on because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be breaking off a lot. And then we also have a big swim bait tied on, you know, for the possible scenarios that we might be able to uh, get on a big fish. It's going to be an absolute struggle for me today. I mean, I always have a hard time at this lake. It's much easier to fish here when it comes to the pan fish and whatnot. But uh, the bass fishing for me, in these deeper reservoirs, deeper lakes, I always have a hard time with. So stick with me, stay tuned, and let's go get them. All right, y'all, so I've always been trash at fishing this lake, but we're gonna see what we can do today. I'm gonna start off by tossing around a Texas Rig Weightless Senko. Once we're done with that, it's gonna be pretty much a drop shot fest. We're gonna be drop shotting like no other. Now bear with me, because I suck at Canyon Lake. I suck at Swirl Lake. These deeper reservoirs, the lakes that uh, have giant bass in them, I always struggle. I've never been good at lakes like this. Definitely much more efficient at lakes like Bartlett, Roosevelt, and uh, Lake Pleasant. Oh, y'all, we got freaking, we got bit. It wasn't a big fish by any means, but we had a little nibbler. Oh my goodness. Just kind of tugged down the rod tip. Ah, oh, you son of a gun. It was either a gill, a yellow bass, or a dinky bass. One of those three. I think they're gills, because I just got bit again. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna stick with the drop shot for the majority of the day, just to try to get on a bite. Great thing is, is with the drop shot, I mean, you can really learn a lake and break it down, and at least figure out where the fish are staging up one thing I do love about it. It's kind of a boring technique. I would much rather catch a uh, fish on a swim bait or even a Senko or, you know, some sort of moving bait. But, you know, if something's working, you don't shy away from it. Hey, even though it was probably a bluegill or a yellow bass, we got bait. That's more than what I could typically say when I come here. The tough thing about lakes like this is that everything looks good i mean everything you roll up on it just looks like it would have fish on it but you really got to pick and choose and not spend too much time driving yourself crazy with how good everything looks i run this thing right on the front end of that Biggin, y'all, biggin. Oh my gosh. Oh my, get up. Y'all, that's my PB. That's my PB. Boom, that's what I'm talking about. Right off that ridge. Oh my gosh. Y'all, that was insane. That was insane. Oh, look at this. Look at this. And when I swung, I swung. I was gonna turn and grab the net, but I was like, nah, you know what, screw this. We're getting this fish and we're both flipping them. Oh my gosh. Right there, right there, y'all. That is what we're talking about. That is freaking absolutely gnarly. Y'all, that's only a 531. Still not my PB. PB is a 6.01 out at the lakes, but still one of the biggest bass that I have caught in quite a long time right there. That is what I'm talking about. Let's get this girl back in the water. Thank you for the bite. I don't even know what to say. That was so freaking awesome. I'm, I'm still shaking. It's not very often that I get a big quality bass like that. I thought that that girl was, uh, was gonna be my PB. Not quite, still a beautiful bass though. So those bass in these uh, these lakes, Apache, Canyon, Saguaro, Roosevelt, the entire Salt River chain, they're just so freaking fat, girthy, they're, they're badass fish. Man, let's go out there, let's try to get another, cause whew, 
That was so sick. Really sorry that I didn't get it on the big camera. I just didn't want to keep her out of the water too long. And my aerator's been a little wonky lately, so I don't want to take the chance. A big bass like that, you got to take care of them. Get them back in the water as quickly as possible. But, man, that was awesome. Let's get out there. Let's do it again. I switched up the worm. I gave uh, the Exxon Lures Plum Deception Worm a shot. Just want to see if that purple hue can uh, attract a couple fish and make sure the drag is set just right not too tight but also not too loose if you hook a good fish it's going to drag into these rocks and you'll snap off so darn quick there's one there's one that's like a good one y'all that's like a good one he's going to jump he's going to jump Nah, not even a big, but I'll tell you what, dude. They just pull, y'all. Exxon Lures Deception Worm. Nice. Beautiful bass, man. These fish, they're just, they're truly built different. I mean, they're legitimate footballs. This guy's got a leech in his mouth. Too bad right there, y'all. Beautiful pudgy little bass right there. You know. Got him for his life. Man, he scrumped that thing up. That fish was sitting in maybe about like seven feet of water. Super shallow up here. But you never know. Because that last little bass that we caught was in about eight to nine feet of water. So it could be cruising around a little bit shallow, looking to ambush some sort of bait fish. There's one. There's one. He's under the boat. He's under the boat. Man, he's going wild, y'all. We might lose this one. Nope. Perfect. Oh, man. We're having a good day. Good morning, session. This boy was all sorts of chaotic. Beautiful hooks there roof of the mouth man you really can't complain on how beautiful these bass are it looked like he almost got chomped by something that's freaking gnarly but hey thanks for the bite dude get in there get big and y'all i was i was debating too should should we come out to sag should we come out to canyon or should we go out to pleasant and i was debating between all of them and you know maybe maybe at pleasant we would have got on a few more fish but i don't think the quality would have been there and it's kind of pathetic but this is my best day of bass fishing at canyon lake ever it's freaking gnarly what time is it it's 7 45 we've been out for about an hour and 40 minutes doubt that we're gonna be able to replicate what we were just doing not too long ago but maybe uh maybe that fish is big brother or mom is up in here Gosh, oh, y'all, 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 oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I should have given it a split second longer, split second longer. All right, let's see if we can finesse this guy. Got him. Biggin. Biggin. Y'all, this is a bigger fish. Bigger than that first one. Bigger than that first one. Y'all, this might be like an eight pounder. Gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's a freaking 
जाए We got him. We got him. Oh my gosh. Yo, look at that. Look at that right there. Absolute freaking behemoth. Absolute behemoth. I'm shaking. I've never had a day like this. Two big fish. Broke the PB, y'all. Broke the PB. 6.23 is what it locked at. Broke the lake PB. Oh my goodness. What a day. And on the drop shot. All right, y'all, so I forgot my tripod, so I'm using my fishing bag to prop up the camera right now. We're gonna show off this 6.23 pounder and get her back in the water as quickly as possible. These big fish you wanna take care of, so let's show that bad boy off. All right, y'all, check this out. Absolutely a behemoth. This is what I'm talking about. This is why we come out here. We have a 5.3 and a 6.2 today. One on a drop shot, one on the danger swim bay, and two nice two pounders. What a phenomenal day I cannot complain about today. Check that out. Absolutely incredible. Let's get her back in. Wow. All right, y'all, so we're getting off the water. Not a bad day whatsoever. It was super, super fun. We were out for about two hours and 45 minutes and we ended up getting two fish above five. Got my PBS uh, 6.23. And then on top of that, a couple nice little two pounders little scrappers not too bad i had a ton of fun out here hands down the best fishing day that i've ever had at canyon lake i know that's not saying much but it was still a great day of fishing especially when you're only out for a couple hours and you end up getting such good quality fish that we all know is in this lake they're just so hard to catch sometimes but we ended up getting them today hope you guys enjoyed it stay tuned for more and without further ado we'll see you guys next time on southwest fishing uh -huh.